Guys, this is the hyena action. I want you to notice that this person's channel, this Vegas Cycling, if you look at their content, right after I did my video with this, they did this. They said, well, they did it after me. My same damn content here. Now, now let's, for fairness, let's look at the rest of his content. See if he's ever done anything like this before. Well, no. He plays music. Um, rides a bicycle. Um, uh, over here. Yeah. Miscellaneous electronic test. Um, let's... Right. Just music stuff. Okay. And about the channel? Uh, the chronics of guitar playing cyclists in Las Vegas. And all of a sudden, he comes up with my exact thing that I published. Well, now most everyone knows about the this is what a hyena looks like. A hyena uh, take from other people. I'm the only one that stated this in this hyena. Now, he came to me today by one of the viewers publishing the things I published already. All right. That the... Uh, the uh, testing, the the testing there, the, the PSI, this is exactly my content applied physics lab, Washington. After I post, this uh, person comes along and starts posting right behind me the same content. Real freaky like the, the, the stuff where I do the Stockton interview. All right, so then they grab his own uh, off of someone else. This is here, so he takes somebody's image. And then th that he doesn't understand that because he doesn't understand that. And there's the image. Let's see if we can do something here. That you opens and you, you enter the sub and you close it. So, so just copying the people's image. data. So it really adds okay. for the titanium interface Listen. ring to be bonded to. One thing that I always considered a key element in this carbon fiber tube was the fact note that all the fibers are oriented in one and only one direction using this manufacturing process note that you're a fucking jackass that they're not oriented in one direction that i showed after this published that you can't be in one fucking direction it's got to be on a, sc a screw on a pitch and then when you turn and come the other direction it's got to be a different pitch so even this has multiple pitches in it and based on speed. So this is what a hyena looks like. The, the filaments are just wound in one, one direction, see, that's only it. like a see giant that? spool of thread. This would not be nearly as strong as if there was fibers yeah. going in three different directions. It would have been much stronger, but quite a lot more difficult to manufacture. Here we see the titanium interface yep. ring being lowered onto the carbon fiber tube after the glue was applied. Assuming that the tube was 6 feet in diameter, there would be approximately 8.4 square feet of surface area for the glue to bond the ring to the tube. This is the interface ring in place. Stockton compared the consistency of the glue to peanut butter, a term that most okay. people could the glue to bond the ring to the Assuming that the tube was six feet in diameter, there would be approximately 8.4 square feet of surface area for the glue to bond the uh. look nice inside and to hide all of the wires going to the acoustic sensors. Here we can see the tail end hemisphere attached to the carbon fiber tube via... It's everything I shared. This guy keeps going over and over of my content, just sharing my content, including the patents I found, everything. It is freaky. This guy is a freak. You know, it's this it's disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, this is what I published already, so uh we can find it everywhere everything he posted, I already posted. What can what can we glean from this debris field? And remember I did a video on that? But I didn't give it all up. I remember I gave uh, a few uh, details. Not until later did I give more. Apparently he can't glean all that, all that, what all that broken metal means and everything. He's just quiet in a video, just videoing, just recording. He can't make the determination now. I assume it's the other end of the titanium ring, interface ring. I assume it. See? He doesn't know how to 
the other end. Of course it's the other fucking end, but which end? Jackass. So, these people are, are hyenas, vultures, disgusting people. Alright, let's see. Note that the tail cone section is pretty much intact. That's, that's all he says, huh? Okay, what, no, what else? That's it. Let's see if he's got any other notes. Note the man with the jacket on. Note he's got his hand on there. Note that this guy's got a white cap. Notice here that the skid is missing one of the four legs that would have been attached to the titanium interface rings. This is another clue. <laughs> it's another clue. Highlights from the alleged transcript. Okay, he's gonna uh, just go across. It, 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 this is just a, the transcript part is a waste. Common belief that the carbon fiber tube. All right, let's go with this one. So listen, this is important now. This is okay. So what happened? Okay, so what happened? This is what he said three weeks ago. It is common belief that the carbon fiber tube failed and imploded and everyone turned to gel or ashes in one millisecond. That part which I completely disagree with. Watch. Now, let's take a look at how this submersible is constructed. Here's a drawing I made to show the basic parts. As we discussed earlier, there was a carbon fiber tube, two titanium interface rings, a titanium end hemisphere, a titanium hemisphere with a viewport that served as a hatch, a skid which the sub sat on, and a tail cone assembly where the batteries and various other things were located. Various other things. Okay, so he doesn't even know what, 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 what they are because he's just, you know, just trying to publish something out of his wheelhouse, but he's, he's just a hyena because I don't know if I gave everything up at that time or in a private room for sure. The one key point in this design is how the skid was attached to the sub. It was attached to a lug on each side of the titanium interface rings for a total of four attachment points. So here is my theory of what happened. I propose that what caused the Titan to implode is the failure of one of the skid legs to detach from the vessel. I don't know by what means it was detached. So remember I talked about the back end, the overweight. So right now he proposes the skid leg did it. The skid leg, the skid leg did it. In my it. mind I can see him trying to descend with the skid still hanging there, partially attached, which was slowing their ascent. I can imagine that it's a pretty heavy assembly as it has to support the full weight of the submersible. What I believe happened is that the skid applied a large force on the titanium interface ring for which it was not designed. Uh, yeah, and then he shows the, the this just going the other way. And we see the legs off, and the legs are not the legs that are, that are, that are missing. Hold on, wait for it. Clown show. Fucking clown show. These fucking idiots. Fucking bicycle and guitar playing clown. All right. Notice here. That All right. So notice here that the skid is missing one of the four legs that would have been attached to the titanium interface rings. <sighs> this is an. So he has that one that the the thing that already holds notice the weight. Notice here that the skid is missing one of the four legs that would have been attached to the titanium interface rings. Do you see these legs? Do they look broken to you? They look in great shape. There's one that's, that's dislodged here from its connection. All right, just one. The rest looks like you could put it back on the sub. They look square. Looks like you can put it back on the sub pretty, pretty cleanly, pretty efficiently. And now, this clown says... Various other things are located. That this, that's welded on there, that this kid with this light-duty me uh, metal is now going to be able to cause a rotation from the top outwards. It's going to rotate that outwards. It's connected in the middle of the vessel at their interface ring. But he's now going to have this... Let's let it, let's the one key point in this design is how the skid was attached to the sub. It was attached... So right here, you fucking bicyclist clown. It's connected to the, the... Weld it right there. Weld it. 
attached to a lug on each side of the titanium. This steel weighs nothing compared to what he, he's trying to claim that it could do. Interface rings for a total of four attachment points. So here is my theory of what happened. Here's his theory I again. I propose that what caused the Titan to implode is the failure of one of the skid legs to detach from the vessel. I don't know. One skid leg. One, because it's only, that's what he stated. Well, by what means it was detached. But in my mind, I can see them trying to descend with the skid still hanging there, partially attached, which was slowing their ascent. I can imagine that. Wait, maybe a minute. Ascend or ascent? Which one is it? Sand is sand. Pretty heavy assembly as it has to support the full weight of submersible. All of a sudden now, it's broke free up here already. Now it's broke free from here. But for some reason, it, and it didn't move. See, notice it didn't move. He just has this magically just moving apart. Remember I said the back end, how it can, how I have a problem right here with the metal here. It, it just has this kid still attached. No, <laughs> detaching itself rather. It's got a connection, all right. It's a welded fitting. Um, these people with their with their with their crazy ass drawings and what they do. Here's the three buttons here. Here's the three buttons Heavy here. Assembly as it has to three buttons. Full three buttons. All of a sudden, what does he do? His three buttons disappear. They're inconvenient. So assholes like this that post this stuff, they just remove stuff to make it work for them. So the three buttons he just had in his video just a second ago. He just made them disappear because they would be inconvenient to keep them there. So he knows that it doesn't that it doesn't work, or because he did when he edited it, he removed it. Full weight of submersible. When he edited, he removes his butt, the the, uh, the connection. So you know these these. What I believe happened. Just consider them assholes. That's all. Apply a large force on the titanium interface ring for which it was not designed. So the skid all of a sudden had the power to. Uh, well, fall this way, which would put a torque action of ro clock, clock of rotation this way. See the, uh, the what a, what a, I can't believe these dipshits. You know, I got to go through this because one of you guys wrote me saying you've got to see him or whatever. All I see is a hyena. That's all I see is a hyena. All right. The skid is twerking, is twerking, twerking, twerking. The skid is twerking. Skid is dropping down that direction, right? You can see it right there. That's the that's the line of it. I'm going to make it parallel with that metal. I'm going to make this parallel with this metal. Okay, parallel with that bar there. All right. As you can see, this is going down. That has a uplift effect. Uplift. A compression effect, meaning you'd buckle this piece here. This, uh, if 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 that it's it's an uplift there. This is the distance here to here. That's down. This is closer here. That means the rotation is taking place here. What you see would be there, but if you move these buttons, the rotation is off of here. But it looks like that down. This is up. This is just showing alignment of that. All right, let's get rid of this one. And so now all of a sudden this has an ability to push this open. These are these, uh, uh, and, and you guys, Weasel, you sent me this. Don't ever fucking send me anything again of, of these ass hats. All right? I don't have time for this. You, you know, I'm, you know. You also said the weights weigh 200 pounds each. All right? That, that, that's craziness. And then I asked you, I called you, said, where, the, where did you find that they weigh 200 pounds each? And then you said, well, you're guessing. I, I don't like that. All right? I don't, I can't tolerate that. So if you, if you keep it up with, with your factual numbers... Then I'm just going to block you. You're just going to have to go to Tool Time channel or this guy's channel and just live here. I'm, I'm going to block you because and I, and I'll block anyone that just just gives me fake information. Like, oh, there's some glass um, uh, uh, tanks that hold the uh, air when uh, when they go to rise up. And that's what, uh, um, um, what's the name said? Cameron. Well, only thing glass on there that I could think of besides electrical panel was the computer modules that were placed here remember swap swap them out swap them out computer modules so yeah I, I don't have time for that i won't you won't be in my lease that's my life lease that means i'm not going to put up with just stupid ass talk i've had stupid friends before 
I don't like them. All right, so this magically creates a, a rotation there. Let's listen to the rest of this. this uh, that crap. in turn caused the titanium interface ring to start debonding, and water intrusion immediately began to occur because of the... So it's just going to, this little rotation here is able to push off the force of all the exterior um, of uh, wherever they would PSI they're at. 50, it would be like opening a door of your car door as you're going down, as you're diving down, that you're able to open the car door. You're not able to open that car door, all right? You're not going to open it until the pressure equalizes. There's bullshit about... Uh, about open about this being able to open the door, especially in this manner, is just bullshit fakery. Now there's also right it's back water, here right? is a strap that's tied to this interface ring right here, and there might even be another additional smaller strap across here, across the very top. But this is just craziness. Sure. The beginning of this was the more sounds it aft in the latter part of the transcript. Then in a split second, the tail hemisphere essentially just popped off. What's that? Okay, so then he has this skit all together. I didn't see this part, so I'm doing live narration. Now he's got this coming in. This is just what? What? What, what did this just do? Did this just leave this alone? Just, just left this on its own? Just what the kind of fucking clown show is this? In the there, it's together the right now. Then in a split second, the tail hemisphere essentially just popped off. Oh, it just just essentially tops up, pops off. Fucking clown show. Vegas cyclist is, a, is, is more stupid than than tool time. They should get together. They should team up. This is more stupid than tool time. The atmosphere popped off. The massive water pressure compressed everything inside of the carbon fiber tube. Oh, my gosh. So there, there's that. Now, fast forward from his junk, right? Let's see. Remember that carbon fiber is very strong in tension. So in my mind, what happened would have been akin to a piston inside of a cylinder. And the piston was the 5,000 or so PSI. And that's exactly what I said in my video about it acting like a piston. So you just a, you're just a hyena. Now watch the hyena's latest it's movie. About how the type it has the core, it has a, it has a, a uh, you, you watch this and you tell me, we're going to go over piece by piece of how it's exactly all my content that this, this uh, Vegas cyclist hyena you know, hyena steal other people's work. All of a sudden now, it's copying my my uh, my data. The submersible is designed and Here manufactured in its specific features. In the process of researching all of this, I realized that there are many possible failure modes besides the one everyone has decided upon that the carbon fiber tube had failed. I learned much about the details of construction and design indirectly from a former Ocean Gate employee. As a mechanical engineer type, I am objectively impressed by... As a mechanical engineer type, your fucking bicycle is in place of a guitar. ...the design and thought that went into the construction of the best possibility that was the failure mode. Let's start with how the submersible was lifted. The submersible onto the carbon fiber tube. Okay, we go faster. There forward. were two lifting points at the top of... Now all of a sudden he's talking about lifting points. Let's make it clear, guys. This asshat just posted this 10 hours ago. Ten hours ago, it is August fourth. Uh, somebody just sent ten hours ago, and there's Weasel sending me the, 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 the saying, "Look, come look at this." You, you got to be shitting me. Are you Weasel? Are you Vegas? But you're asking yourself a fucking question. Are you? Are you not? I mean, you, 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 this is crazy. There are about three inch holes in the rear titanium dome, not central, I guess, for wiring. I sent and the fucking holes in it titanium dome that you can speak of that you can speak of each ring which were used to lift it onto and there we go we're talking about the lifting now i know which i've already done a video on let's go forward you talking about my layers my video i post about the layers and all that all right where well, i tell everybody where they can go find it i put it in a private room so uh yeah the internal diameter Around a span. When the carbon fiber was done with the curing process, the titanium inner. This jackass is showing this, right? Now, this jackass, you, the jackass, the, the guy, the uh, bicyclist, you see this image right here? 
this was taken from the the video series I have coming up for you, the, and I have it in the private room fully. The electrician that posted this, this jackass can't even figure out that he should not be showing this. But listen. When the carbon fiber was done with the curing process, the titanium interface rings were bonded or glued to the carbon. It was not done like this with this machine. This is just a liner only. So for two weeks. Clown. Polar material happening between two different types of material. All right, let's this go is, forward. Well, let's take a look at the internal and. So this is what he took again from this uh, the the the, elec the electrician that I posted. You guys told you you can look him up, but don't don't do that. So he's taking his screenshots, and now he's and again same thing from the same content, the one I have in a private room. All right, so let's go. Let's move on. Do we need to go further? You see this image right here? This is in his video. This is my fucking content. Carbon fiber hall, rear cap. Let's back up just a second and listen to him talk. This other things that were all built into a seemingly inadequate frame, which also attached to the rear interface ring. This certainly also imposed some sort of stresses on the glue joint. There you go. So where does, where does this uh, fucking hyena get his information from? Right off my fucking channel. Ah. Uh, right off my fucking channel. You know, you know how it's disgusting. You know, the, the way that they, and then they present it like it's all his idea, right? This, this Vegas guy. Like it's all it's, it's all it's idea. This is my screenshot that he captured with me saying rear cap. And then he's presenting my own data back at me. It's called gaslighting. You guys, you know, this makes me not want to present to the public ever fucking again, all right? It just makes me just want to do private room videos only, and, and, and but, but problem is, a lot of you donators out there donate, but you won't join the private room. If the donators, if you switched over and, you know, if I, if I put, make this public, they switched over to the private room, I would just do private room video only and, and not give a shit about YouTube, all right? Right here, guys. There's your. There's my. Who, I'm, who am I saying this to? Wolf, Wolf Man. Take a look at my nuts, baby. See my two nuts. I'm sorry. Wolf said something in a live chat that I couldn't resist that, doing that just now. Hey, Wolf. Hey, Wolf. I have no idea. Looks like I got to get to the hospital because I got two red things hanging. They should be blue. I don't know why they're red. Uh, woman, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. Tolerate me. That would be blue balls. Get it? Nuts, blue balls. And I don't know why they're red. Okay, I have a sense of humor. All right, let's talk about the bottom of this while we're here in my own image. We see that there is a connection here to the skid. All right, right here to the skid. This was all changed. This was changed. This is just a rend rend one of the rendering renditions that they did. And I, they, they changed this shit up so many times. And uh, including this, remember the uh, bracket, and they, even, they, even this, they had a weld on, which I have a problem with the, putting heat on this. You know, putting heat on this right next to this, uh, how much it would conduct. Uh, do they keep this wet or not? But he's using my image. Does he share with the other, but where he got the other data from? No. Does he share that he's learned this from my channel? No. Just fucking takes it. Hyena action. <laughs> Pug, what do you think, baby? I ain't it all away. The rear of the vessel. There is also gravity and ocean currents acting upon every surface of the submersible. So then he just, you know, from there it's just, it's like looking at my own data put together by someone else and then they present it. Just like, uh, this is version two of, uh, of uh, Tool Time. This is his kin. There was also a detachable skid frame assembly that could be released from the vessel in case of emergency if everything worked as it should. That's what I talked Apparently about. There were four pins that could be removed hydraulically and then the skid was supposed to detach from the vessel. Now, now this skid was also attached to the titanium interface rings. So what happens if it only partially detaches? The transcript implies that this may have been the case. Not an unreasonable scenario as the place where those parts interface are subject to corrosion after repeated dives. All of it is just the same video content I shared over and over again. 
over and over again, right? Now, all of a sudden, he knows what it is now. Way down here in the wrong fucking place. Computer and framework inside there. Let's see. Nope, he doesn't have the damn domes up here. And he just did this 10 hours ago. Titanium interface ring. Vertical thruster shroud. It's carbon fiber tube 100. Um... You. Keep going. I don't have time. I can't read all this shit. Graphic created by, by OceanGate. Let's start with the carbon fiber tube. As previously mentioned, it was 100 inches long by bindings, but the two take. Action. I'm just going to fast forward a bit. These part was held in atmosphere or psi of water pressure on the exterior of the vessel, but also from the condensation incur. It can sense because you have the titanium. Hemispheres, which are a metal surface, and then you have the two curves. Next, we come to the tail cone assembly. There is quite a lot of stuff going on back. Also attaches to the rear interface ring. I don't... Which I already talked about, how this attaches to the rear interface ring. He didn't say it before. Now, all of a sudden, he does. Now, all of a sudden, it, it, it does Also it much. attaches to the rear interface ring. I don't know how much all that stuff weighed, but it had to be a considerable amount of weight. There is what appears to be a carbon fiber superstructure in the tail cone that kind of Oh, he thinks it's carbon fiber. He a fuck nuts. And it acts as a spine. There I was, call, I I call it a, all, a strong back. Also, high pressure air tanks, two large batteries, and various other things hidden inside of the exterior. Um, curious to me, as that suggests that the tail may have been heavier than the nose of the submersible, but there could have also been foam inside too. You can clearly see the foam here. It happened in the case that the tail cone section became partially detached because of, stru because of a structural failure, perhaps in conjunction with other pre-existing factors. Well, now it's and now he's all over the place. All over the place. Before it was just one leg. Now his second video sounds just How like a theft. How does the wiring get inside from this assembly? Which the I already talked about. All at the back uh, and the side. Thanks so much for doing fancy lighting. And then there... I think you can see that there's quite a lot of weight and things attached to that rear hemisphere uh, interface ring. That is... Now all of a sudden there's a weight to the rear interface ring. Before it was just the legs. That fell down and caused this problem. Now it's the weight of the back end, which I've always said, right? And you can see I'm using my own content. So you switched right up. And this is some some sorry shit from some guitar playing bicyclist cunt. That's why I believe it's likely that that rear interface ring failed because of several different kinds of stresses being simultaneously imposed on it. The debris that was recovered that I could see suggests that everything blew out of the front end of the submersible when the rear end opened up. When I Wait a minute. Everything blew out of the front end of the submersible. Well, if we go back, let's see. We're at, we're at 49 minutes and 7 seconds. 9 minutes and 7 seconds. But we go to this part of his video. If it did frack... He has it going like this, and it goes everywhere. Sure. We'll be in... Only a few large pieces are possibly mostly intact with one end partially shredded, as in the one-third scale model test. Yeah. Yeah, and he's using my statement about the, 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 the one-third model test again. What a cock nibbler. All right, go back to this and finish this off. There is also gravity and ocean currents acting upon every surface of the submersible. Oh, yeah. There was also a detachable previous video... I wasn't aware of some of these other possibilities that existed, like possible water intrusion from the inside. I believe this tragedy may have never happened if there was also mechanical connections between both of the type. I personally, which I show you guys in the video in my content showing about you bolt them together. It doesn't. This guy's a cock I don't feel like he was the reckless person that the media is painting him out to be, but I also think he definitely made some mistakes in his design. My point is, in this video, it was how many different ways something could fail with this design, and I wonder how much they asked what if when they were designing it. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right, so you see what I got to put up with? 
I got to put up with this 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 shit here, where somebody clearly is going to my channel, taking my data, and and recycling it back as as their own. And it, 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 it's crazy. A second ago, you know, it, it, this this is just this is just craziness. This is craziness that I talked to you about the end thing. He, he went from skids to this, but he had no respect. No respect to hand it off to me. He's just a thief, uh, just a hyena. Just a hyena. You see, let's go to there again. If you look at his stuff, it's about, here's guitar amps, here's wah and volume pedals. He's dealing with his guitar stuff. It's just, just that. Just, just that. It's play, playlist. Our guitar, guitar, GoPro, guitar, um, Vegas, guitar, guitar. Now, what part of that, what part of his playlist or history shows that he has any interest in or a capability of evaluating anything like that? Nothing. But what he does have a capability of is coming to my channel and paraphrasing everything I said and put it in his video as it what he thinks, what he thinks, not not exactly what um, what uh, yeah um, let's see these are frequency yeah on the frequency frequency bicycling so this is what the cocksucker looks like let me see what this fucking thief looks like. <laughs> Fucking hyena. Fucking hyena. Do on your burrow on your... Fucking hyena. That works for me. That's what a fucking hyena looks like. See, you don't know what a hyena looks like. What a... Somebody will steal your stuff looks like. But now I can put together a file. Musicians steal other people's work right they play it all the time playing other people's stuff they got no problem with it they got no problem playing with it playing it playing it here playing it there no problem at all and so they have that personality so this is what apparently this is him and his voice that's what a hyena looks like and luckily he buys some goddamn jackals <laughs> i call them jackals <laughs> maybe pug pug come on baby pug let me pause that pug come on do you do you do your thing man hold on hold on Pug, hook me up. Hook me up, baby. Give me my hyenas back here. This computer won't let me uh, open up my software. It lets me do the uh, the overlays. Oh, give me some hyenas here, please. <laughs> oh, oh, I would love that. Yeah, you can turn those into hyenas. <laughs> oh, how do I do the hyenas on that? Oh, I wish I had my software for that, that it would work on this. But this new computer doesn't have a... Uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the uh, old salt, my... Uh, Software doesn't work with it. It's too damn modern with it. And I gotta pay for upgrade or whatever if they have it yet. But then this is already ready for an upgrade. When I upgrade it, then the new software doesn't work with the new upgrade. That's some nasty circle I'm in. Um, constantly giving, and that's just one piece of software. But I've got you know numerous, fifty bucks, fifty bucks, fifty bucks, fifty bucks. Oh my gosh! So that's what a hyena looks like. That's how China travels. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, help me. Let's do one more thing, Pug, and everybody else watching. Avity and Ocean. I mean, that's my damn thumbnail. This is just, it just shows you his source, his source. And I'm the source, and he went from the, the gear... Causing the, the the land this come falling off to it's the back end causing the torque action which I talk about. Fucking hate these people. This makes me not want to post, guy. You don't know what it's like if somebody you know steals your shit. This one and now uh, of course tool time. You know posting about the uh, the bladder and then doing the one third model himself. Now the my one third model. Exactly, he does not get his data. From anywhere original besides when he does it's really just far out way out there i mean the guy just has no skill with this stuff 
it's so far out there. So what he does, he goes to engineering forums that people tell me they're in those forums and he's over there and they, they ignore him for the most part when he comes in there. And, um, and the engineers, a couple of them in there get hold of me going, oh, he's over there talking bad about you. And I look over there and I look. And I just see it's like two people that might go, oh, great, you know, great job to him. And that's it. And the rest of the engineers just ignore him because they know he's just a hyena. They know he's just a tool salesman, a fake car salesman where he did that car salesman video. I can't be shooting for slander, guys, because it's real. I have the video. All right. So um, and he sells tools. He's hawking tools. Right. He's always, you know, buy the tools, buy the tools. Get this tool now. Get this tool now. So anyway, maybe I should go to Lowe's, Home Depot, and tell them, can I, can I hock your tools on YouTube? <sighs> okay, so enjoy, uh, enjoy this uh, hyena here video, and I'm just going to give it to you straight, and then I might to edit it and add the hyenas in it, or I just, it just, just wears me out. So you can see how this is demoralizing, and, and it's demoralizing, demoralizing, and, and it's, uh, Really, it just makes you just want to do private room videos. It really does burn, you know, smoke me. Okay, end of video.